This is a video showing how to balance a force platform by adjusting the feed height within SparkView. So when you've adjusted the level of the force platform while it's resting on the surface that you'll be testing on, then lift the force platform up off the countertop with the feet pointing down but not supporting the feet and press the tear button. Go ahead and place it back down on the surface. So the force platform is going to be measuring its own weight over each of the load cells within the system. This workbook within SparkView is displaying each of the load cells for the feet on the force platform. I'll click the green button on the lower left hand side to start manual data collection. I'm not actually going to be saving the data, but when I'm using manual data collection, live data will be displayed through the digits display toward the right hand side, but it will not be storing the data within the workbook. I'll go ahead and click on the green play button. And we can see here that uh, there, uh, the weight is primarily being supported on force beam 1 and force beam 3. So what I'm going to do is select one of these force beams that has a lower reading on it and start to increase the, um, the load on that by extending the foot out. Now, since these two values are uh, fairly well matched right now, that means that um, the force platform is basically teetering on these two feet. So it's going to be in my best interest to um, advance these feet on this other diagonal um, incrementally, alternately, so that uh, when they start to engage the tabletop, um, their loads will be roughly equivalent. So I'll do that uh, by raising the corner of the platform um, that has the foot that I want to advance, lift it gently, and then turn the foot about five degrees clockwise. That will advance the foot, and um, you can see that that has started to provide some load on that foot. I'm now going to alternate to um, the opposite side to force plot, uh, to beam two, advance that slightly, and place that back down. And you can see that um, they're uh, fairly well matched. Um, I'm going to repeat the same process. Um, again, just barely advancing the, uh, the foot uh, five degrees as very small changes in the foot position can really change how the loads are placed on the system. So as you can see here, I may have gone a bit too far. Um, so what I can do is um, I'm going to actually go to uh, force beam three and force beam one and advance those just incrementally. And with a little bit of work here, you can see that we're now matched for the load on each of the load cells within about a Newton.